Yo, yo, guys, this is Red Yoshi here, and I am here for more Fortune Street. Unfortunately, I'm going to be doing this one alone because I do not have 20 Godzilla or Cabby Boy filming with me today as the coronavirus is still going on. So, yeah, guys, I, we will post more on the Elite Trio once we do get back together and we can make more videos. But because of the coronavirus, we haven't been able to upload much, so... Literally, the last thing we uploaded was Castle Trodain, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing for you guys. Except, instead of just doing it on easy rules, I am going to be doing it on standard rules. Just to give 20 and Godzilla and Cappy Boy an idea on how uh, standard rules will work once we get to that. But basically, how our LP is going to work is uh, we're going to be doing the Observatory next on um, easy rules. And what's going to happen then is, well, because since Slime did get last on our playthrough... We will be up in the difficulty, so every single time the computer gets last, we also will be up in the difficulty. So we will be going against a C-ranked computer next, and not a D. But uh, yeah, we once we go through all the boards on the Dragon Quest Tour, the Mario Tour, and the Special Tour, because there's three tours, we will go through all of them again, but on, on uh, standard rules. So uh, today I will be showing you guys... Um, Standard rules, Castle Trodane, just to not spoil any of the later boards that I will be going through later with uh, Cappy Boy and 20 and Godzilla. So yeah, let's get this LP started. And if you're wondering, yes, I have got first place on every single board. So I don't have to unlock anything now. So I will be doing this in tour mode. Um... If you're wondering, no, we can't play this game online. The online mode for the Wii has been discontinued. So even if uh, we all try and play it online, if Cappy Boy and 20 Godzilla get their own copy, so we try and do it online, it won't work because uh, the online mode has been discontinued. Although, is there a way around this, guys? Because I have my Wii, uh, my Wii U homebrewed. Is there a way you can actually get around that and be able to play online? Like, for example, on Mario Kart Wii and play online. If you can, give me a video in the in the uh, comments and I'll try and follow it and see if I can get the online mode working. But if you want to unlock everything, you have to go through tour mode and pretty much complete the uh, victory requirements. I believe it's what it's called. Um, oh no, victory position, sorry. So you have to, you have to complete the victory position to move on to the next sport. So... Yeah, the next board we'll be doing is the Observatory with Karel, the uh, person on the right there, the C rank. So, once we get back together, we will be doing the Observatory for you guys, but on the uh, easy rules, not the standard. We will be going through this again on standard once we do go through all the easy mode ones first. So, for now, I'm going to do Castle Trading and uh, show you the difference, really, between the easy rules and the standard rules, because there are some things that don't exist in easy rules that are present here. So, yeah, let's first determine the turn order. So, oh, I get to go first, surprisingly. Because actually, when I was playing the uh, last board, the easy rules variant on Elite Trio, I actually went last, so... It's good, to, it's good that I get to go first this time. So, you may, you see the target amount's 10,000. So, a lot of the times on the um, standard rules version, not only um, is the board bigger, but also the target amount is bigger. Uh, the bankruptcy limits one player. It's what we're going to have for every single board. And, yeah, just ignore the victory position because I already did it. Now, you may notice at first, well, I got to skip all that. You may have noticed that all these little uh, properties here have colored rings around them. You see there's red, yellow, blue. Well, there's a light blue and a dark blue and a green. In standard rules, I could purchase this 470 and this 360 and they could still expand because they're in the same district. And in easy rules, you have to have them next to each other to be able to improve your properties more. But in this one, you could just have them in the same color here uh the only new uh the only new things actually i believe there's a couple of them i guess i'll go over them um this is event it's this is the exact same thing as landing on a suit square it just gives you a random card and you uh go through a random event uh this is the boom square you get 20 percent of all rent made uh during that turn so yeah you could get a bunch of money if the uh properties values are high and this is a take a break. So 
um, in the terms of monopoly standards, uh, your properties will become mortgaged for a turn and no one will uh, have to pay you if they land on the property. So you definitely want to avoid the square as much as possible. Uh, so yeah, those are the only new squares really in this. So let's get started. Um, 320, Yeah, I'm gonna go for this blue one. And as you may have saw on the uh, on the thing there, it said a piece of paper was worth that amount of money. Those are stocks. And when you get stocks and someone else happens to land on the, um, what am I trying to say? If someone lands on a property and pays rent, you get, um, you get some money back from those stocks in terms of how many you have in that district. So uh, yeah, you can invest in different districts, but you can only do that once you get your first promotion. I should probably invest in that red one too, because that one you can't really skip. Thankfully, it's not hard to get properties from Slime, so I could eventually get that 33 from him and not have to buy it out. And that's the thing too. Uh, if you're wondering how the computer ranks go, um, usually the e uh, this is from easy to hard. It's D, C, B, A, and S. Those are the computer ranks. Ooh, I'll take another one in this district. I wouldn't mind getting the last two and getting this full district early. Although, do I have enough to buy the last two? That's the question. I don't know yet. I'm gonna have to check on my next turn. Oh, I barely have enough. Wait, does he have to give money to all of us? Oh, no. I thought for a second he had to give money to all of us. But I get a card here. Buy a suit yourself card for 50G. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. Because you have to take loops to get to the other ones anyway. This is actually one of the few boards that I do not uh, try and get to yourself cards just because you have to take loops to get to the other ones you need. Um, I know she bought them in District B, but I'm not sure if that's the district I'm um, buying my properties in. I should probably turn off the uh, dialogue to make this go a bit quicker. Mm, around the blocks. Oh, so it's your typical slot machine. So you know how these work. Except now you can see you can get five stocks times your level. So you can get, uh, but basically the uh, thing that's in the middle, you get five stocks. Uh, five stocks in each district times your level. So you could get a ton of stocks if you're a high level. Oh, okay. I could improve my district again if I wanted to. You know what? I'm going to do it. And then I could get a one on my next turn and have the full district already. Why not? And also because Princessa could get it on her next turn. I really want to get it before she can get it. Can you get a one for me? Nope. Oh, she would have missed it anyway. I should have turned off the dialogue, but I forgot to, I forgot to. I'm 
Okay, I'll take another suit. I'll take half my salary already. Not much, but I'll take any money for free. So I will end it right here, guys, after Platypunk's turn, so I can uh, change settings and then start the next episode. So, yeah, um, I guess with all that, I will see you all later in the next episode. Later.